Happy Tuesday, Facebook friends. It's Christy here, and for lots of us, today was the very first day of school. I have absolutely loved all of the pictures. Just everybody looks so adorable and so cute, and moms and dads everywhere are either celebrating or they're crying because it's a rough day. So, you know, I was thinking, um, we are beyond this year for us, these years for us, now that all of mine are in, um, high school, but I wanted to share some tips for starting the year off right with your kid's teacher. You know, how to be involved but like not pushy, how to be helpful but not annoying, um, how to be vocal but in the absolute best way possible. So these are my five top tips. Number one, you know, be patient. The first week, the kids are actually getting out of their summer routine and into the routine of going to school and there's paperwork going back and forth. It's really, really hectic and it's kind of exhausting. And if you haven't met your child's teacher before the very first day and you know, you're around at pickup time this afternoon, you know, stop in and say hi, shake hands, say hello, but it should be quick. Don't turn it into a conflict and say here's everything you need to know about my kid right now um, it's I think it's personally better to give the teacher um, at least a week to develop a little bit of a relationship with your child and and get settled in you know teachers know you have a ton of questions but there's usually an open house within the first couple weeks of school and during that time 90% of your questions are going to get answered and then after that if there's still things that you are wondering about or questioning you know then go ahead and shoot an email to your teacher and ask them and you know in those emails remember these teachers are working so hard so you know I always add at the end you know is there anything I can do to help you and so it's a good good way to start the year off right with your child's teacher. Number two, you know, email the good things to your teachers too. Teachers get inundated with everything negative, everything that's going wrong. You know, they it's it's complain, complain, complain. So take an extra step and notice what's going well in the classroom at the beginning of the year and then let the teacher know. Send a note just saying, you know, my child's having such a good time, he's made such good friends, and thank you so much for everything you do. A child's success is influenced by the positive relationship between the parent and the teacher. So see the good and send a thank you every once in a while instead of always complaining. So that's number two. Number three buy extra supplies. It's so funny to me. I saw all lots of posts about people complaining about having to buy tissues this year. Like that was like that pushed people over the edge. They had to buy tissues. Yes, there are a lot of things on those school supply lists. You know, these days it's more than just school supplies. It's tissues and sanit sanit hand sanitizer and sanitizing wipes or whatever. And you know, teachers work really hard. They're dealing with our kids all day, every day. And even some of the best school districts are still asking teachers to take money out of their own pockets. When my kids were little, you know, I always like to try and come with, a, send them with like a little bit of extra, a pack of pencils, an extra box of crayons, whatever it was, and then tell the kids to give them to their teacher and say, you know, here, this is for anybody to use. Those little steps go a long way. And the fourth one, and this is like the running joke in our family is, fill out the paperwork. Okay, so it's the first day of school and guess who's gonna have homework tonight? We are, yes, way more than the kids. We're gonna get this giant pile of paperwork that we fill out every single year and it's the same information and I, trust me, I have definitely wanted to just put C last year. But, you know what, the best tip I can give you is sit down tonight or at least this week and just power through it and fill it out and get it all turned in because those teachers have sometimes 20 25 kids in one classroom and they end up having to chase people to get that paperwork turned in let's make the job a little bit easier for them and put in a little extra time and the focus on those forms and you will definitely help to decrease the teacher stress level and therefore increase your child's having a good day um, and the last one is, you know, be present. Some parents kind of think their work is done once they get their kid on the bus and they've packed their lunch or whatever it is, and that's not really the case. 
participate in parent teacher association you know volunteer wherever you can our children are no longer taught the same way that we were taught when we were growing up. You know, there, there's, there's so many different nuances and new things. So, you know, if you have something to offer, make an appointment to sit in the classroom and experience what they're doing. If you're um, a writer, a photographer, uh, you know, you do woodworking, whatever it is, offer to do a little workshop one day. This is not an ongoing commitment. This is going in one day, getting to see your own child, and again, the children see that their parents have a good relationship with their teachers, there's an increased level of respect and a bond that develops for everyone involved. So it allows for more success over the years to come. And you know, on top of Oh, I lost connection for a second. On top of all that, I'm going to throw in one bonus. This is my bonus tip for starting your year off right. Uh, Thank the cafeteria ladies. This is something that I have taught my children since the very first day. The people that are working in the cafeteria are working so hard to get those kids fed and, and cleaned up and dealing with everything. And you know what? It takes no time at all to say thank you so much. It's going to make a difference in their day and your child ends up maybe getting an extra little scooping of mac and cheese one day. You never know. So. Don't stress. Before you know it, it is over. There are no more Halloween parties. There's no more parent-teacher association or whatever it's called where you live. And you need to take the time now to be involved and it goes a long, long way. I hope you all found that helpful. I hope you're all enjoying your first day of freedom, if you will call it, if today's your child's first day, and I hope everyone has a great school year ahead. If you enjoyed this video today, please feel free to like, comment, or share, and I will see you all soon. Bye-bye.